In June 2022, a mixed group of Level 3 construction students, first and second year, went from the College of West Anglia to the construction area in North Norfolk. The aim was to build a railway, a small railway, a narrow gauge railway. But it presented all the challenges of a real size track. We can see in the footage here the scale of the operation. They were presented with some obstacles. There was a river crossing, a small ditch which had to be bridged, and there was a large mound of earth which had to be cut through. So, small scale versions of the real thing. The object of the exercise, as we can see here, is to run a small train down the track. This was the final touch. Unfortunately, not everything ran according to plan because there were some lessons to be learnt. The first one is on a corner. You have to cant the track at an angle, otherwise the train will roll off. High speed was not an issue here, but small pieces of stone in the way certainly were. Here we can see the locomotive running at normal operational speed. The two guys are from the construction team at the construction area who supervise the works of the students. Some of the students had experience of sight, some of them did not. But they all mucked in. And indeed, when we were watching the operations going on, the students were completely focused on making sure that this whole thing was laid correctly and operated properly. Some more adjustment being made here to the corner because this is really where the problems occurred. If there is not enough inward cant on the track, that is the outer rail being higher than the inner rail, then it is all too easy for the train to derail, as it did on a number of occasions, but that's all part of the learning curve. Admittedly, the students are using their hands here. They did also use brooms, and of course, in the real world, we'd be having a large compacting machine doing this job, but the basic principles are the same. Fine detail, remove every stone from in front of the locomotive. A number of visitors watching the operation here. On the final day, there were a number of VIPs who came to watch the train actually run. And this was an issue. They had planned the week. The students had to work out a program and then make sure they stuck to the program because on the Friday, it had to run. And here we have one of the students testing the locomotive with one carriage, in this case, running over the bridge. The bridge, of course, had to be level, and that took a little bit of doing. The bases for the bridge were carried out by the construction crew. In the background, you can see the cutting. That was an earth mound when they arrived, and they had to work out where to go through, what the angle would be and indeed it is a downward slope, upwards in this particular direction. The excavation work was carried out by one of the machines at the construction area, but purely based on the instructions provided by the students. Health and safety clearly was paramount throughout, and the students were fully aware of the risks of working on a construction site, and all safety briefings were real. We're entering another of the tricky curves here, over the bridge, over the watercourse. This is sitting on two precast bases and is a prefabricated unit, but the students had to work out how to assemble it. slow and steady as they approach the troublesome corner.
success. In fact, the whole week at the construction area was so successful that funding has been secured and students will be returning in October and November 2022 for further exercises. All of this feeds into their work experience program as part of the level three framework. And here we can see the awarding of the certificates for the students, group of VIPs. And it has to be said, they took this seriously and the students were genuinely proud to have been involved. gang finally posing. <laughs>